Welcome to Parent University. I'm Sue Han. Today we are on the Parent Mobile. Did you know this traveling resource has been visiting events all around Baltimore County for over 20 years? While on this mobile resource, visitors can learn about curriculum, programs, and special education services, select resources to assist students with learning at home, and gather BCPS and community resources. We also have information in various languages. Be sure to look for us at your school or in your community. We hope to see you soon. One of our goals of Parent University is to keep you in the know. Our first topic is learning about focused note-taking. Recently, BCPS became the recipient of a federally funded grant that will extend the school day by 15 minutes. Our school system will use this additional instructional time in all grades six through 12 to accelerate learning by implementing the five phases of focused note-taking. So, what are they? Let's take a look. Phase one, taking notes. Students engage with a meaningfully selected note-taking format focused on an essential question for the unit or lesson. Note-taking formats include two or three column notes, graphic organizers like Venn diagrams, Cornell notes, mind maps, and more. Students learn how to determine the most important information and how to use abbreviations and paraphrasing to efficiently take notes. Phase two, processing notes. Students collaborate with peers or independently process their notes by chunking their notes into segments by theme or main idea, highlighting or underlying key concepts, circling key terms, crossing out irrelevant information, and adding new information. In order to maximize the effectiveness of the focus note-taking process, students should process their notes within 24 hours of taking their notes, either in class, at home, or both. We suggest two minutes of processing time for every 10 minutes of new content. It's not a large investment in time, but it pays in dividends. Phase three, connecting thinking. Students add questions and connections to their notes. Students add wonderment questions that capture what they are considering and questioning about the content. Comprehension questions that they anticipate may show up on a test or quiz, and original thinking that makes connections to other content in the course or from other classes. Phase four, summarizing and reflecting. This is the last phase of the focus note-taking process that happens inside the notes. Students summarize the most important content of their notes by answering the essential question that was posed in phase one. Furthermore, they reflect on how they learned and how the new learning will be useful to them in the future. Phase five, applying learning. This takes place outside of the notes. In this phase, Students engage in collaborative activities, reading and writing to learn activities, and assessments where they apply what they have learned. Having engaged in phases one through four, students will have interacted with their notes in a variety of ways and will be well prepared to engage with the content on a deeper level, increasing their college and career readiness skills, achievement, and sense of success. Why should students engage in the focused note-taking process? When students take short amounts of time to intentionally and meaningfully engage with their notes, they will remember more and they will perform better on assessments that measure their mastery of content knowledge. This is a lifelong skill that will serve all of our students, no matter what their goals for college and career are. As a parent, you can do your part by asking to see their notes, graphic organizers, and interactive notebooks, and ask questions about the process and the content. We look forward to seeing the positive impact that focused note-taking will have on the academic success 
and college and career readiness of all students in BCPS. Did you also know the Baltimore County Public Library has so many online tools and programs to help support your family this school year? For instance, your student's identification number can be used as a library card. Starting right now, your student account number can be used for so much more than ever, including access to Baltimore County Public Library's print and online resources. Be all in with Baltimore County Public Library and BCPS as we partner to help you explore, learn, create, and connect by using your student account number at any of the 19 branches or our website. And if you happen to forget your student ID, Library staff can look up your number to let you check out materials. Use your ID number to log in to our online databases, visit our online encyclopedias, use the History, Science, or Literature Resource Center for a school project, or just relax with an ebook. Using library resources has never been easier. Be all in with Baltimore County Public Library. Have a wonderful school year. Be sure to check out the resources on Parent University and the Parent Mobile.